This video is part of the Parallels Tech Byte series. In this video, we're going to give a practical example of how Parallels browser isolation can be used to control access to applications such as the Microsoft Azure administration portal. And we're going to do that with the assistance of conditional access policies. The use case we're going to consider here is when we want to limit how an administrator can access the Microsoft Azure console. So what we're going to do is we're going to restrict the IP addresses that are allowed to connect to the Azure portal to only those from Parallels Browser Isolation. All other methods of access will not be allowed. So when I try and connect from an IP address which is not coming from PBI, it will be refused. And when I come from an IP address which is PBI, it will be allowed. This enables administrators to add yet another layer of security into their zero trust approach. So let's take a look at how we've set up conditional access. We open the policy and we can see that at this moment in time, we've got a single specific user configured and we're just going to add another user into that profile. You could obviously add groups. You could apply it to all users. That's entirely up to you. This is just for the sake of the example. And you can see we've restricted applications. So in this case, we've restricted the Microsoft admin portals and Office 365. For network connection, we're including any network connection to control. And you can see we've not configured any of the other conditions. Now, what I'm going to do with this policy is to block access, as you can see. And all that's left to do is to enable policy. Once we've saved that, we then navigate to named locations. And inside name locations, you can see what we've configured here is a set of IP ranges. Those IP ranges are specific to Parallels Browser Isolation. So what effectively is going to happen is that this policy is going to apply when a user is not coming from one of those browser isolation locations. So let's test it out first by going directly into the Azure portal. As you can see, I'm getting an error, which basically says, look, your authentication was OK, it was fine. I know who you are, but you're still not allowed in. And that is conditional access restricting the user. If I do exactly the same thing from Parallels Browser Isolation and log into the Azure portal from here, it's going to successfully authenticate me once more. And this time it's going to let me straight in. And then to tidy everything up, what we're then going to do is go back into our conditional access policy and disable it. So once we've chosen save, we go back to the browser tab that we were getting denied access from initially, re-authenticate, and this time because the policy is now disabled, it's going to let us access that console from anywhere. So this is just one example how you can use PBI in conjunction with other methods to build this multifaceted security perimeter and limit people accessing specific applications from PBI only rather than from any location they happen to be. And that concludes this video on limiting applications to be PBI only. I hope you found it useful. Be sure to check out the other videos in the Tech Byte series for more great content.